Hello, one and all, and welcome back to more Let's Play Sandland. I am the Max of Future Shades, and the last part, well, we got a bit of a handle on what the rest of this game is ultimately going to be about. Turns out that Anne is a princess of a neighboring kingdom, and she wants us to help overthrow a despot that took over from her father. And also, apparently her mom is Beelzebub's sister, so they're actually uncle and niece, which is kind of insane to me, but here we are. Uh, yeah, we got a lot to go ahead and do for ourselves, it seems. Uh, apparently Rao wanted to talk to the mayor before we head off to the Forest Kingdom, or Forest Land, and I, I gotta be real, I'm almost kind of concerned is... Like, when I, when I saw the map, I was like, oh, Spino and Sandland. Yeah, alright, that makes sense, but like... I, is there gonna be a third map for 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 forest land? How big will it be if if so? How much more of this game is there? <laughs> I am a little concerned if I'm honest with you um, But uh, I, we're, we're, we're gonna do fine. It's gonna be fine. We're gonna get it all done I also did just a little bit of exploring uh, you know I, I jumped to a bunch of different cliffs and went into a couple caves and, and hollows all over the place just to just to get some extra stuff and whatnot. I still don't have all the stuff I need in order to get the proper upgrades for all of my vehicles, but I did what I could where I could. Hey, old man. You do be old. Where would you hide treasure if you never wanted it to be found? Ah, that's right. We need to f we need to hide the aquanium. A place to hide treasure. Has you roped you into some kind of treasure hunt? No, something significantly larger. No, sadly, it's nothing so fun. Well. What are you trying to hide? Something that could kill us all very easily. You don't want to know. I see. It must be quite the treasure indeed, then. I'd ask more questions, honestly. Well, you can use the secret room in the west. I'll uh, draw you a map. Secret room? We used it to hide our arms and such during the rebel army days. I'd feel far safer with it there. I, I don't know. I'll... I feel like it really is just safer with us. Like, if okay, things are gonna come after us to get it, but at the same time, like, we can defend it. We have a tank! I'll go and hide it for you. Mm. You're in a hurry, right? Leave it with me. Yeah, but aren't we going to the forest lands? Your lands? We're gonna kinda need you as, like, diplomatic relations. You gonna be alright on your own? Aw, oh, look at you, all worried about your knees. Yeah. <laughs> Shut up! I'm not! A little bit. Knees? It's complicated, don't worry about it. Uh, oh, it's just an inside joke. <laughs> anyway, I'll take care of hiding the stuff. See ya! Why did Anne have to go and bring up the whole niece thing? Because it's kind of adorable. Go easy on her. She hasn't seen her parents in ten whole years. Oof. I imagine she must be overjoyed to have finally found a relative. Yes. I mean, I get it. It's kind of weird, but yeah, you should be nice to her. I mean, you already have been, but maybe, maybe drop the whole evil fiend bit. Just, just a little tiny extra scotch for her. Anyway, a side quest from your face. <laughs> Why are you laughing at me? You want to get punched? Hey, what's so funny? Oh, hi, Anne. I see you came back real fast. Oh, nothing. I was just thinking about this town. You think of this town as funny? I'll punch you. And how far it's come. It's so much nicer than it was before. Understatement. It was literally a trash pile. All thanks to you and your friends, Beelzebub. No, you have yourself, Mayor Tor, and the village to thank. We really don't, but we can let them think that. If there's anything else you'd like, just ask. I'm more than happy to continue making this place awesome. He's such a positive young boy. Well, I think it'd make everyone happy if more people lived here. I mean, a lot of people already have moved in. What more do you need? The town would grow... And things would be more convenient. Nah, not for other people. Isn't there something you want for yourself? Oh, dang. He's asking you to be a little selfish for once. For myself? Um, a big brother, I guess. Well, that's literally impossible. A brother, huh? Yeah, but it's not like I really need one. Also, statistically, it's entirely impossible to gain one if you don't already have one. I have Grandpa, Plika, and Eddie's. I just kind of dream about it sometimes. It'd be nice to have a big brother to teach me and stuff. Teach you what? You're already basically a deputy mayor. But it's okay. I know it's impossible, so... All right. I'm gonna find you a big brother. How on earth would you even? What? No, I didn't mean it. Too bad. Doing it anyway, I guess. What was that? Uh, nothing. Well, in that case, I'd like him to be someone kind and honorable. Got it. 
Leave it to me. I have no idea how I could ever possibly manage this, but we're gonna find a way, apparently. Okay, sure, why not? Also, ooh, hello. Oh, 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 oh. A way to maybe uh, spruce up the material shop? That would be fantastic. I need... What in God's name is yourself doing here? Where's the cute girl? Welcome. Oh, that you, Beelzebub? You're not who was supposed to be here. Huh? Where's Vess? I want Vess back. She went to Merrick Junker's market to get materials. Ah. And she's forcing me to watch over her shop in the meantime. Fine. Is someone looking after your shop in Talbo then? Nope. So I need to go back there soon. Meaning there'll be no one to tend to Vess's. Uh, if that's gonna cause issues, can you go get her? Obviously. Hmm. All right. We'll see to it. Is that okay with you, Prince? It's fine. I guess. I like Vess. Also, what is that face, thief? What the crap? You stop that. But okay. All right. All right. All right. But yeah, no. I need some, like, uh, co quality Cobra alloy if I'm going to be able to upgrade the rest of my vehicles. And I can't make it. I can only find it. And I already used all the stuff that I found souping up the tank. But I need to soup up all my other vehicles. I can't show preferential treatment. Oh, boy. All right, so is there any other side quests running around these here parts? Doesn't seem so. Doesn't seem so. Oh, my God. Okay, well, there actually is. The Sandland Santa! Oh, man, is the, is the Santa suit finally going to come back into play? That's fascinating. Also, hmm, not going to lie. For a long time, I've wanted to get up to this area and find, like, a radio tower or something because Tri Tricky Jumper Ken has been a bounty that I've been holding on to for, like, forever. Like, it's absurd, man. I don't... I think since I've been able to get bounties, it's been here, and it's bothering me something fierce. And if there's another side quest over there, well... Not for nothing, but that seems like a pretty good job here. Also, serious settler? What? What the heck is that? What the, what the heck is that? Hmm. I have many questions. Very few answers. All right, let's do ourselves some explorerizing. Rao here. General Ari, do you copy? What? Copy. Anything to report? Our plan is to head to the Merrick battleship in search of more Aquanium. Yeah. That's music to my ears. I wanted to dispatch a recon team, but we just don't have the men. That might be partly my fault due to all of the people that I've taken out. I'll send a unit to join you. The moment I can get the king to sign off. Until then, it's in your hands. Here we go. I mean, we Understood. really don't need the uh, assistance. It's not that I don't appreciate it, it's just I feel like I'm significantly more useful than the entirety of your army. Oh yeah, I forgot. I gave, an, I gave the motorcycle a new minigun. Or machine gun. It's not really mini, anyway. Shotgun! 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 shotgun. <laughs> it's so effective. There we are, and there we are. Okay, get that scorpion mess out of my face. I don't know when I'm gonna need scorpion venom. I've yet to find an actual hey, use for it. But... Stop right there! Eh? What? What's going on? What's going on? Oh, some kind of ornery junkerman? Huh? Who the heck are you? You want to get punched? My gang runs things around here. The name's Gita. Okay. And who the heck are you? Fiend Prince. Who gave you permission to come all the way out here? I don't need any. Huh? Do I have to get permission every time I come here? Because I'm not gonna. Hey, you moron. This area's too dangerous for a front like you. Bold words. I'm asking if you got permission from your parents. Yeah. My parents? What? That would mean the king of demons. I mean, I basically got free reign to go wherever I want. Well, yeah. My father said it was okay for me to go out and travel. At least we figured that out, you moron. But don't go any further. You're not very nice, you know that? Why not? Are you stupid or something? I said it's too dangerous for you here. You could have an accident to the junk pit, and it's full of thugs. Okay. This ain't no place for kids. Go play with dolls or something. I don't wanna. Don't you know who I am? I'm the Fiend Prince Beelzebub. Or do the pointy ears, spiky hair, horns, and pink skin not give that away? Don't treat me like a kid just because I look like one. You can't judge a comic by its cover. It's true, they're notoriously crappy. You moron! And deceptive. How else am I supposed to judge you? By the quality of my character. People judge me by my looks all the time. I've been shunned my whole life. Well, then maybe stop wearing a giant gas mask and having a mohawk. Uh, wait a minute. I'm judging him. 
Doesn't that make me just as lousy? Yes, yes it does. I'm glad you've been able to self-reflect and discover this about yourself so that you can learn and grow as a person. You moron! Hey, Squirt! I'm sorry! Okay. Forget what I said earlier. Y you can do what you want. Yeah, I don't really need your permission, but okay. He's not very tactful, but he does seem like a decent man. Seems to be attempting to be, anyway. Hmm. I think he would make a good brother for Hugh. He's honest, plain speaking, seems trustworthy to me. Huh? Did you say something? How the hell is this supposed to work? Uh... I find it incredibly odd that the game would ask this, but sure? Spino? What nonsense is that? Makes me think that maybe I'm not doing the right thing, but uh, I, I guess we're giving it a go. It's a town. They're looking for new residents. I'm asking you if you'd like to go and live there. Me? But why? Why not? I'm a mean-looking wannabe junker. Okay, well, I mean, you don't look particularly mean because, again, the gas mask. I'd scare the pants off of everyone. You act like you're the first junker that we've invited. I see. So you're not interested then? I'll ask someone else. Hey, wait. Not so fast. I didn't say I wouldn't go, you moron. Mm-hmm. I'm not lousy enough to flat out refuse an invite. Sign me up. I'll come with you. Don't get the wrong idea, though. I didn't say I'd live there. Okay. That's very bizarre to me, but all right, sure. Uh, that explains what that was all about. Also, there's a rescue quest. Ah, jeez. Okay, hang on a second. Uh, what the heck? How am I supposed to... All right, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me see if I can f save their biscuits. Or else I'll just have the crippling guilt. Okay, let's see, let's see. Uh, how does one get up there? Ah, no, okay, it seems fairly simple. Never mind. All right. Looked a little concerning. Okay, don't hit stuff. Woo! There we go. Hello, hello. Sure is hot out here. How's it going? How are you holding up, Prince? Doing just fine, thanks for asking. What do you mean? This level of heat's nothing. Sure that. The cold, Come on. That. Machine gun's hard to aim with. So it goes. There we go. That everybody? We good? Yeah, we're good. All right, and I actually recently learned you don't need to bother talking to them. You just beat the quest and get the money. Easy peasy styles. All right, then, I guess uh, head back to Spino. See how that the whole situation goes, I suppose. I don't know. The, I'm, I'm Part of me thinks that maybe I could have, I don't know, looked around. If I said no to this guy, I, I, I'd look around and I'd find someone else and maybe I could choose from a couple people or something. Because as is, I don't know, kind of going with the first choice I, I ran across might not have been the right call. Hey, Hugh! I found you a great guy. What? You mean... I promised I'd find you a brother and bring him to you, remember? I, I, this whole thing seems weird to me. You really did it? Where is he? What's he like? His name's Gite. He's the one wearing a mask. That guy? Apparently. He looks kind of scary, though. You sure I should talk to him? Nah, it'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Don't worry. He's all right. Just kind of intense. Really? Okay. If you say so, I'm going to try talking to him. All right, you go have fun. Thanks, Beelzebub. Uh, check on Gite. All right. Uh, how you how you liking Spino? I guess. Oh, it's you. It sure is. How's it going? Hey, why the long face? Something got you down? He's got a long face because of the cast mask. Ah! Do I look sad? Uh, is that a trick question? I mean, yeah. <sighs> I know it. Everyone just judges on appearance. I look scary, rough, crooked. Top it all off. Now I even look sad. Must be a body language thing. I feel like the last one's a little different. <laughs> More of a body language thing, really. Hey, on the wavelength of van, I'm okay with this. Whatever. Not like it makes any difference. No one likes a wannabe chunker, and I can't blame them for judging me on how I look. The gas mask is incredibly weird. If you want people to like you, then why don't you quit? It's not that easy. Wannabe junkers have a code. Junkers having a code, I get it, but wannabe junkers specifically? They don't take kindly to traitors. So I'm leaving Spino. I just don't feel like I fit in here. Okay, but how about you give it a minute? Okay, if that's what you want. But at least meet Hugh before you go. Mm -mm. Hugh? The mayor's grandson. He wants to talk to you. Grandson? Like a kid? Why would he want to talk to me? God only knows, but I'm hoping for the best. You'd have to talk to him to find out. I guess... Look at me. 
Have you heard the way I talk? I'd scare him. Honestly, your voice is kind of disarming, if I'm honest with you. So talk to him nicely, in a way that wouldn't scare him. You know, you're actually pretty clever. That sounds a, a little backhanded, but okay, I'll, I'll take the compliment. Is that why the people in town ain't scared of you at all? No, I'm also just unrelentingly nice. What? It's sad, but true. <laughs> I have an idea. I'm gonna talk to that boy Hugh the way you speak. Uh, okay. Sure. I don't really know how Beelzebub speaks, though. I'm not- he doesn't really have, uh, an obvious point of- of imitation, but okay. Anyway, wait and see what happens. Oh, well, alrighty. If that's what I gots to do, then that's what some gunsta does. That said, uh, what do you guys wager is the way up here? Hmm. Alright, I have one theory. Maybe if I go to this... Alright, and then can I continue to head in that general direction? Uh, doesn't really look like I can. No. Um, hmm. I was thinking maybe I could, you know, go down there and then walk through there, but that seems to be full of rushing sand, so, uh... Looking like that's not the option to go for. Okay, okay. Oh, hey, how's it going? You got anything new? You don't. Thank you. Yeah, I got a big heap of help and a who cares. That's always fun. Okay, well, I guess we can always just go about on the tried and tested formula. Driving around the rim of things until I can find some kind of opening. And it's a little time consuming, but it seems to be the most reliable way of getting this sort of thing done. He already got the water. And I shot a raptor in the face. And na 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 Free materials. Oh, hang on. There you go. Something unbelievably satisfying about doing that. I'm not gonna lie. Alright, zoom right over. Okay, well, let's see. If I head that way. Oh, oh, oh. That looks to be just uh, a way to go north. Well, hello then! And the gate is just straight up open. Those guys don't seem to mean me any harm, so... Okay, cool! Rock on! Thank goodness we're at peace with the Royal Army at this point. There you go, and some free stuff. Not great stuff, mind you, but eh, it works, it works. Can't talk to them. I guess I can't attack them, but I'm not gonna. Why make enemies with them again? That would, that would serve literally no purpose at all. close by, we're safe from bandits here. Certainly not safe from the Royal Army, though. I am pretty sure you're only Father saying that because I was supposed to maybe get here like earlier. Kinda wanna see that. That would be pretty fun. Demons shouldn't go out looking for trouble, Prince. Yeah, well then what are you calling this entire adventure of ours? <laughs> anyway, whoa, that hurts my eyes. Jeez, ups, can you not? Ow! It's like, damn. I actually had to adjust my, my eyesight for that one. Huh. I wonder how long I've been able to go this way. Oh, hey. It's a whole new world we live in. Oh. And hang on. We've got all manner of birds that want us dead. Oh, that, oh, wow. I can't believe I actually hit something with that. That's impressive. But no, not what we're looking for. Not what we're going for here. Anything and anyone that wants to destroy me is going to get destroyed first. That is the sensible way to go about things. Perhaps. Hmm. Agri the question of the Culture, day is, hunting, where it's would a radio tower be, Ponder? Resort to thievery, of I don't see anything sticking out. We steal from ah, hang on. Too. Yeah, no, there That's is the, the side quest, proud. and we're going to do the side quest, but Unless I want to clear out the, the fog guys. first. Also, dang it, it's more of those weird panther things. I fought a few of those things off screen. Surprisingly tanky, them, the... And they drop fangs and stuff. It's pretty neat. I'm not going to say it's not. But I definitely need to upgrade my vehicles a bit more if I want to fight them consistently. It took like seven minutes to take care of a really big one. It was a, it was a mess. Yeah, and they're really fast too, so they'll chase you for a while. Okay, alright. I like seeing the fog clear up. It's it's satisfying to my, my brain. I'm sure Always that is a sign tough, of some kind no of condition. But eh. Clear see. thinking will lead you to peoples? victory. Oh, yeah, peoples. Even when the all right, hang on. Against. May as well get all this figured out now. Whoa, 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 whoa. Calm down. 
Calm down, olive boy. Calm down. Uh, 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 dang it. Reload faster. Ugh. That's definitely the main issue with my current weapon. It takes forever and a half to reload. It's a mess. I don't like it. I want to shoot more often. Even if it's less damage. Uh, uh, uh. There we go. And then there's this guy. We don't need that. Stop with your rocket launcher nonsense. So there's just there's a dude up there. We could probably just take care of him normal styles. Let's do this. Yep. How's it going? Bang, 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 bang. And free stuff for me. Give me all your stuff. Speed chip. Nice. Ooh, for the buggy? Oh, that's fantastic. Whoa. Dang. So that's where the king has been, or apparently. That's interesting. Damn, I wasn't expecting it to be so gargantuan. All right, well, still not really my main objective, but I guess we could try heading over there to see what's what. Don't see any reason why not. And I need to drive up the spiraling styles. Woo, let's go. Vroom, I say vroom, vroom, vroom. Bum, 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 bum. Big spiral mounted energy, even though there was already a place called that. Oh, hey, how's it going? Ah, no, you guys are cool. You guys are cool. <laughs> Woo! Thought I was in the me about to get into a big old tussle. Eh, get out of here, nerds. All right, now, seeing as how we're all on the same side and everything, I don't see why you can't just let me have free stuff, right? Free stuff is good. So, seriously? Go. All right, hang on. Out of the way. Gotta break even more of this stupid fence. Ugh, what do you expect me to do? Use a gate? I don't think so. Also, speed boost. I don't. I still haven't been able to make a hopper. What do I gotta do to make a dang hopper? We can use, All of the pieces are so hard to find. Alright, well, there you go. Big old tower taken care of. Fantissimo. Now, what kind of information are you gonna be giving me here? Let's see. We've got. Yeah, we've got the royal capital and the royal capital palace. Very interesting. We've also got, apparently, Taringo. And apparently, <laughs> Tricky Jumper Ken remains in the fog of war. That is frustrating. Okay, now for some hot intel on the area. Not even gonna lie to you, that is annoying. Okay, so where's that big ass town? Yeah, there's that big ass kingdom. All right, and I didn't break my shins, so that's always a plus. Actually, you know what? I've been driving the genie a little bit too much. You see, I should. There we are. Let's go, Noir Car! Oh, and I just killed a scorpion. <laughs> uh, it wasn't intentional, but it was funny. Okay. Well, I guess. Me, oh, I, I guess Spino wiggle? isn't the end-all, be-all of of Sandland. Turns out, the royal capital is is actually pretty bustling. By all metrics, I should be allowed to go inside the town, this is a right? Human castle, huh? It's a stupid big place to live. Word. And with plenty more people living around it, this has become an enormous castle town. Very cool. If Thief got lost, that'd give me something to laugh about for years. True. <laughs> I'll be just fine. Surely if anyone's going to get lost, it'll be you. Okay, but he's not wrong, though. Hey. Greetings, friend. The royal capital welcomes you. Really? Nothing to say about the whole demon thing. Also, hello. Sure. So you're the kind demon who restored the river. Apparently, yeah. Uh, you're the talk of the town. You have my deepest thanks. Oh, well, yeah, okay. Then I guess that makes sense. Beazelbub would be at least moderately known, wouldn't he? Okay, so here's a question. Any, I don't know, side quests, special stores, uh... I don't know what, hang on. Oh, you're in a dog. I thought you were a cat. Lame. You're not a kitty cat. That's a lot of honking bananas. My goodness. Hello there. It's so hot today. I should grab some uh, Peru's coconut juice. I guess maybe. What was with all the bananas? It's just, you're never going to sell that many bananas. Wait. You're the girl Naka gave that medicine to. Right? Yo! I was gonna say, it's like, oh, I was about, literally, before I talked to her, I was like, oh, hey, they use the exact same model as that blind girl, except she has the lights in her eyes. That voice sounds familiar. Oh, you're one of the demons from earlier. Turns out they didn't reuse the model. It's her! Is your friend who gave me the medicine not with you today? He never is. Knocker's in the demon village. Oh. 
I was hoping to thank him for curing my sight. I'm sure you'll get the chance. Oh, don't be having sad face. Hmm. I've got it. Just give me one minute. Okay. I got nowhere to be. Would you mind delivering this letter to Mr. Knocker for me? Why don't you do it? You're... Oh, wait. Right. You can. Yeah. Unlike a lot of people, they no, she, she legitimately does need this help. Fine. Fine. I'll give it to him next time I'm in the village. I don't know if I'm going to be able to find him easily, but I'll try. Thank you. I just started learning my letters, so my handwriting's awful. I hope you can read it. I feel like we should try and read it first before we deliver it. I sure can't. Maybe Knocker can work it out, though. Oh, well, okay. I hope so. Oh, but if he doesn't want to, tell him that's totally okay. Got it. All right. That's actually rather nice. I didn't know what I was expecting when I came to this area, but uh, follow up on that little subplot is something I'm very happy to have. I'm also taking some stuff. <laughs> I'm taking your stuff. What you gonna do about it? Hello. Up ahead is the palace. Demons usually aren't allowed, but I'll make an exception for you. Yeah, you will. <laughs> I brought water back to the whole ding dang kingdom. I imagine I can't actually like go inside though. Yes. This area's off limits. Yeah, you know what? That's fair. I figured as much. Man. You know, I could easily have seen several timelines where I just ran right by that girl without even taking notice. And I would have never gotten a follow-up. That would have been such a huge bummer. The whole time I would be going, but what if? But what if? Well, we will absolutely do that. Move? What are we moving? Oh, what? Oh, well, that's interesting. Huh. Well, I don't know if there's going to be anything important in that place or not, but maybe. Maybe sometime. All right. Bring out the detective. We've got vrooming to do. I also need to make sure to head over to the demon village. Yes, yes. Okay. I can do that. I can do that. I can do that. Try to remember. It's literally not a side quest, though, so. Ooh, that's a, that's a tall ask for my brain, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do my best. Maybe once we take care of this whole Sandland Santa thing. Any outsiders going to the capital are required to pass through a military checkpoint. Neat. Luckily, we don't have to give a damn. Whee! They, they can just back. zoom Anyone on by. Suspicious, I gather. Let's see. Yeah, I guess it's a whole base. Right. That's how they've managed to defend the capital from threat for all these years. Do I still need to sneak around in the bases, even though I'm, like, not an enemy to anybody anymore? I mean, I would assume I kind of have to, considering the whole, otherwise it's just a bunch of free stuff for free stuff's sake. I don't know the game would be okay with that. We kind of removed the whole stealth feature. Something to ponder, something to ponder. Maybe I'll do that on my own time. Seeing as how they really are just kind of repositories for materials and stuff and various weapons and things. Not nearly necessary to have yeah, you guys see me do it. But all right, hang on. Whoop, free stuff. Handful, you know. I'm a lot of things. Now... Get all that good stuff. I mean, the stuff isn't that great, but I still want it. I want it, and you will give it to me. Actually, hang on a second. What am I doing? Why use my own dang legs? Why use my own dang legs when I got these robo legs? There we are. Hello. 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 <laughs> Hello. Uh, entirely unnecessary, but a fun entrance. You can't say that it isn't. Anybody who saw me show up is going to be very impressed. We'll probably find traveling merchants on the main road. Yeah, probably. But I say we take a nap. Peddling Naps are fun. Yeah, let's rest until morning. I'm tired of all this orange we've got going on here. There we go. That's much better. Oh, wow. We're actually, like, running into various towns that are, like, nice and stuff. I'm used to everything being so much more small and run down and stuff. I guess this is, like, the good, or high, like, I don't know, um, the, 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 the high, what do you, what would you call it? High income housing area of Sandland? I think that will work, generally. Hello. Hey, Mr. Demon, the river's running again. They say, you owe know, it all to you, our hero. Yeah, he is ecstatic to have that. What say the peddler? What you selling? A bunch of garbage? Fantastic. Thank you for coming. Have fun selling garbage, you garbage seller. Also, what's this mess? Think about it, Bob. There's no way a white-bearded old man leaves you nice stuff. It does seem rather unrealistic. No, it's true. My mom told me he exists. 
She said if you're good, a white-bearded old man wearing red clothes will sneak into your house at night and leave you presents. Then your mom's lying to you. Man, you're really just gonna diss this kid's mom? Rude. Because my dad said he's not real. Yeah, well, maybe your dad is a tool. Ever think about that? My mom is not a liar. What are you two arguing about? Santa, apparently. Uh, dad! Perfect timing. We can ask your dad if it's true. Oh, boy. What can I do for you? Phobe is saying that the white-bearded old man really exists. Why does the dad and son look nearly identical to each other? That's not true, is it? Yes, it is. The white-bearded old man is re- My dad said he doesn't exist. Your dad is an asshole! Really not real. Dad? See, I told you, your mom's lying to you. Thief, I'm gonna need you to do me a solid. Don't call my wife a liar! Kick that child in the head! <gasps> Uh, whoops. <laughs> you shouted at me. Not even my daddy's ever shouted at me. You've lived a truly privileged life if all that was... <laughs> if that tiny little outburst was enough to bring you to tears. What a whiny child. I'm telling on you to my daddy. No, no, please don't. If the master found out... The what now? Then say sorry. I'm sorry. I sincerely apologize. You too, phobe. Me? I'm not apologizing. Phobe! Fine! I'll tell on you and you'll both be fired! Okay, there is clearly more going on here than it, uh, than, than meets the eye. Fine! Do it! Like I care! Well, don't come crying to me later, you baby! Oh, goodness. This seems like it's about to escalate to a real issue. Mommy's not a liar. Of course not, son. Let's go home. I think this requires some investigation. I mean, I feel like we already have enough information. Yeah, who's the white-bearded old man they were talking about? Well, it's gonna be Thief in about a minute. No, not that. That man and his son might end up in trouble. Not our problem. Yeah, well, we're making it our problem. But we can't stand by and watch. Ugh, fine. Let's go and talk to them. I kind of wish we did that while they were standing here. Okie dokie dokie. Oh, wow. Pff, dang. Got some quick legs running all the way over here. Oh, hang on. More free stuff. I want it. Here we go. Hey, some spindles. We have those in my yard, too. <laughs> the goats like to climb on them, so we just leave them there. It's fun. Hello there. Could we speak to you for a moment? What's the entire story going on here? Who are you? I don't know. Who's the master? Just a nosy passerby. I couldn't help but overhear that exchange. It's kind of weird you didn't notice us standing there. It sounds like you might be in trouble. Yeah. That child tells his father, we'll likely both be fired. Your son is employed? Who would have thought I'd lose my job over the question of whether a certain jolly old man really exists? But to Phobe, he's a piece of a precious memory of his mother. Ah, I get it. I see. My wife died four years ago. I'm sorry. Phobe loved his mom. To this day, he clings to his memories of her. It seems like this one is especially important to him. I should have known better. Why didn't I take his side? Because you didn't want to jeopardize your, his well-being. Like, I, I get it. I get both sides here. But I, I have to say, like, I, I understand. You, you need to be employed, get the money to take care of him, lose your job, and all that goes kaputskis. I'm a disgrace of a father. No, you're doing your best. Don't worry. I have to at least cheer him up somehow. But what can I do? Thief. Can't you just bring Mr. Whitebeard to him? <laughs> He's just a character from my wife and son's favorite book. I can't exactly invite him over. Thief! Nah, I think there's a way. Oh, yeah, there is. I don't like where this is headed. Hey, it's not my fault you inexplicably own a Santa suit. Leave the old man part to us. In the meantime, you get a present for Phobe. Uh, sure. I'll get a present, and we can meet back at the town's entrance. Rock on! Like, I cannot stress this enough. It, 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 I don't know why you own that suit, Thief. But if you're going to own it, then we're going to use it. How many opportunities are we ever going to get to or, in order to even do something like that? Yeah, you got to take every opportunity as it comes to you. That's what I say. Let's see. You said, ah, there's the entrance. All right. You said meet at the entrance, where it's actually fairly outside. But okay. Um, I got the present, so... What about the white-bearded man? Do you not see this old man standing next to me? <laughs> Come on out. Oh, I guess he left to go get changed. Ta-da! Oh, wow. 
He looks just like the man in the picture book. That's inexplicable, but okay. This is perfect. We'll be able to make a nice new memory for Phobe. How did you rope me into doing this for a stinking human? I don't know. I think a part of you is a good person, too. It'll be fun. You sneak in and scare him with presents. Like Jack Skellington. If it's so fun, then why don't you do it? Ain't got no beard. I don't have a beard. <laughs> <sighs> Fine. I give up. Damn straight you do. Give me the present. Th thank you. It's the book my son's been wanting. Ah, I see. Your son is a huge nerd. You'll have to go unnoticed, so wait for night to fall. Moments later, night fell. <laughs> Why me? Why not you? You know, you had the opportunity to go back into town, you know, to Demon Village. You didn't have to continue to travel with us. That was your decision, not, not ours, all right? Rao asked if you wanted to come along, and you said, sure, why not? Also, yep, I guess I literally can't be seen by anyone. We are literally Metal Gear Santa-ing right now again. Okay. I mean, in a sense, I can I can dig it. It's, uh... I, I thought it was kind of weird that we did it that one time all that time ago, and it just never came up ever again. Alright, just do ourselves a sneaky sneak. Sneaky Is that a kitty? Aw, it's a little Siamese kitty. He's so cute. Aww. Why won't you let me pet the kitty? Aww. Aww. Oh, shoot. I've been spotted. Well, usually... Split. Okay, but usually, usually there's a little question mark thingy that fills up. I thought I thought I could get away with that. Ah, well. If you think I regret getting all uh, into seeing that kitty cat, then you're horribly, horribly wrong. <laughs> Why did you immediately turn back around? Are you kidding me with this mess? I thought you were turned around and you were going to walk backwards and I was going to go somewhere else. Ugh, God, what a pain. What a pain in the ass you truly are. Also, yeah, it's looking like I don't have any other options. Like, at all. Yeah, that man really just straight up turned around, ran, and then he immediately starts walking again. What is your malfunction? I hate this guy. Out of all the guys I've met, this is the guy, this is the guy, this is the guy, this is the bat. this is the worst one. The worst guy. Disgusting. Alright, now you keep walking, and I swear to God, if you just turn around randomly for no reason. Okay, see that? That lady? That lady is, in fact, not the worst. It was all that guy. That guy is the worst. Alright, now we sneaky, sneaky, sneak, sneak, sneak on. Hello. Gonna break into your house Here's now. Your present. You'd better be grateful. How very jolly of you. Daddy. Oops. Sneak, sneak. Daddy wasn't supposed to see me. I mean, if he doesn't see you, how would he know that it was the Santa man? How'd it go? I guess. Well, <laughs> I nailed it. Obviously. Wonderful. I only got caught twice, and by the same guy. It'll be fun to see how surprised Phobe is tomorrow. Hopefully he at least kind of saw Damon. you. Look, look! Oh, I be looking. What's that book you got there? The white-bearded old man gave it to me. See? I knew he was real. Well, there you go. Happy child. My mommy wasn't lying. Dang straight she wasn't. Oh, well, look at that. Isn't that great? <laughs> is it just me or is Beelzebub trying less and less to look like a, a, a like an actual demon? Like, this is just too out there, like, obviously nice. How did it go with your job? The master said he'd pardon me if I admitted my family were liars. Ah. So what did you do? I told him the truth. My late wife and Phobe are not liars. Hmm. Uh, so are you guys gonna need, like, a new place to live? What that means... I lost my job, of course, but to be honest, I feel better than I have in a long time. Because, I mean, if you need to move somewhere else to find more work, there's always stuff in Spino. What will you do next? I'll take Phobe and look for work in some other town. There you go! You know what? It's a better place for you guys anyway. You should check out Spino. You'd be welcome there. Population growing! Really? Then that's what I'll do. Yeah, head on! Thank you ever so much for all your help. Take no thing! Go on, Phobe. What do you say? Thank you! Ah... I like helping families like this. It's fun. Whoa, hello. Uh, how are you? Oh, hello. Making medicine so much easier now that water's not a problem. Yeah, I bet it is. Uh, I'm truly grateful to you all. Thank you. 
Uh, no problem. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. So we got that all taken care of. I am still curious about this whole the master thing. That's a little weird. Kind of makes this whole town not look nearly as good as it uh, originally did. Are you blocking the door? No. Got to hand it to you. Pulled it off. A top glass act all around. Thank you. All right, guy blocking the door. You have fun impersonating a Snorlax, I guess. Huh. Weird. Very, very weird. Ah, okay. Right, 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 right. My brain, my brain, my brain. We need to head back to Demon Village. Yeah? That's the remote house. Where's the Demon Village? Oh, boy. Ever since I got this whole area covered up, it's always hard to tell. There we go. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> the fog trail was the only way I had to be able to figure out how to get into this place. Oh, hey, Lassie. How's it going? Demon Village always smells. Of rare things, that is. And the poo-poo. Oh, yeah. Anyway, oh, cool. Standard cables. Bring me Neat. Any rare I already got a couple it. of uh, the treasure maps. I did some spelunking, got some coins, bought the maps. All that good stuff. Oh, oh, there you are. Wow, okay, I was expecting that to be way harder. Hey, Knocker, I got a letter for you. <laughs> that was lucky. I forgot you were wearing a beret. For me? From who? Like, literally, all I remembered was your general species. Your appearance completely flew over my head. I completely forgot. From that human you used to give flowers to. Huh? But she was blind. Do you not remember curing that? Her eyes were cured thanks to your remedy. Are you stupid? Oh, she drank it. Great. And she wrote a letter for you and asked us to deliver it. Apparently she can't write, which is fair. She also said you didn't have to read it if you didn't want to. I'll read it. I'll read it. Let's see. Hmm. It's no good. I can't read it. Yeah, that's fair. Well, she only just learned to write. Even she admitted her handwriting's bad. That's not it. I can't read human languages. How does that work? You're literally speaking English. Oh, I didn't know. Then you read it to him, thief. Would you? Please? If you even can. Oh, fine. If you insist. Let's see here. Dear Mr. Knocker. Thank you for the medicine. I can now see because of it. Grandma was really grateful, too. I would hope. I hope to meet you one day. When I do, please let me listen to your singing while I enjoy the scent of flowers. That's what it says. That's a really nice letter. <laughs> she thanked me again. But, well... I can't go see her. I don't really see why not. People seem pretty chill with demons right now. I don't want to go to places that are filled with humans. Write her a letter then. Prince is sure to deliver it for you. I apparently, apparently I'm a mailman now, but okay. Will you? I guess I should get someone here to teach me to write. Yeah, that might help. I should go pick flowers again too. So many things to do. Well, all right. Rock on, rock on. Not sure if we're going to get any more for that, but maybe. <laughs> uh, Prince, everyone's lined up waiting to play a game with you. All right, well, uh, you never know. You never know. Maybe something else will come up. It's certainly possible. Also, an AWOL Tinkerer? Interesting. Interesting. Do I have something on here about that? No, it's just the Aquanium recovery. So, no. Then what the heck is that all about? Well... <laughs> I gotta go and find out. <laughs> I can't just not. Let's see. Where are you specifically? Way over there, huh? Yeah. All right. Hang on. Busting out the prince. Let's go. And vamonos. Pedal to the metal. Ooh. Are you trying to tell me you're inside of that thing? Is that what you are? That seems like an unlikely thing to accomplish. Oh, no. Okay. Interesting. The marker was way up, but uh, otherwise not so much. Okay. What? You know what? It's fine. It's fine. Everything's good. Unbelievable. What's taking Are so long? Eh? There's a lot on his plate. He has to reform an entire army that until recently was loyal to Zeu. That's true. That's true. All while answering to an utterly useless king. Well, he's not entirely useless. I'm sure you could use him as, like, a cork or something. Mm. He's, he's very large. I don't see Vess anywhere. Oh, right. Vess. Searching around at random won't get us anywhere. Let's see if we can find a lead. Hey, yo! You seem like a really cute gal. Say, have you seen a craftswoman called Vess around? 
Not sure if it's your girl, but I saw one scrounging for materials. That sounds like it could be her. Do you know where she went? She said she was heading to the big scrapyard up north. I thought she was like in Junkertown. I didn't realize it was somewhere else entirely. Dangerous beasts hang around there, so I'd keep my distance. Fair. Beast, huh? I've got a bad feeling. We'd better hurry. Did I really manage to get the information on the first try? That's pretty fascinating. Okay, uh, all the way over there, huh? Okay, all right. What do you mean can't call a ride? Yeah, you can't call a ride, not in this economy. Hurt your All right, oh man. Okay, that looks like a big old thing. All right, hang on. Maybe a little speed will solve our problems. That is one hell of an ascent. The absolute murder on my shins. Uh, Fess! Where are you at, you crazy girl? Why you run off and do crazy girl things? Oh, you're just being soft on him because you used to be in the military. Oh dear God, that's not good. It wouldn't be fair to leave everything to him alone. Also true. As a citizen, I have to do whatever I can. To... I like this conversation, but Vess is getting attacked by a, a, a panther, so. <laughs> Already working on it. Working on it, working on it! Oh, sounds like a beast got her. Yeah, it sure did! Always gotta go to someone's rescue. Yeah, well, what are you gonna do? Oh, Lord! See, this is exactly what I was talking about. I can beat the Panther Lord. It's doable. It's just it's also a huge pain. Yeah. You're obviously a whole lot more agile than your usual tanks and raptors. Always slapping my tank on the butt. Illegal maneuver, by the way. Just keep on... Going back! How tough is your hide to be able to take this many shots from a damn tank? Other tanks don't survive this kind of onslaught. Damn right bizarre. Alright, come on. If I can get my tank... Whoa! Ow! To level 18, then I can get a really super powerful extra, like, uh, like, yeah, shot. Like, well over, like, 50 points stronger. So I really need that, but I need all sorts of materials to accomplish it. All right, hang on, and we'll just... There we are. Okay. Uh, Vess, you good? Where has this giant battleship been near our village? Since always. Caught me off guard, too. Never noticed it there. How not? It's so large. <laughs> One of the greatest disasters in Sandland's history was a total non-event to you demons. You'd be surprised. That sort of thing happens all the time. What's a big deal to one part of the world ain't much to another. Anyway, Vess, you silly girl. Uh, I thought I was a goner. Thank you, Beelzebub. It's no problem, but why you do that? So, did you get the materials you were after? Damn well, better have. Oh, yeah, somehow. Didn't think it'd turn out like this, though. Here's an idea. How about I try to establish more trade routes or something? I'd much rather you not potentially get horribly maimed. Guess I ought to stop trying to hunt down materials alone. I'd prefer it. You're an irreplaceable citizen of Spino now. Heck yeah! Leave finding dangerous materials to us. Yeah, if you need something, I'll just go and get it for you. Really? I'll ask you next time, then. I got no problem with that. <laughs> All right! Let's go back. Stan must be worried. Stan is a lot of things. We just gonna teleport? No, we're not gonna teleport. Shame, but new items can be made at the workshop. Oh, that is such good news. That's such good news. Honest, if I'm being real, mm, there's a rescue quest. <laughs> there's always a rescue quest. I just wanted to go and see the new materials. Where's this? Where the hell are you? Where, where is this? Where is this? Uh, okay, all right, fine. Come on, come on, come on. Gonna let, if I'm gonna save you, at least make yourself more mildly convenient when where it is you're being attacked. Where are ya? Okay, that's not too terribly out of my way. And that's a lot of voids. Why so many voids? Yeah, I hear various voids. At least that was sort of fun. There we are. Alright. Might as well reap the benefits of it all, too. Thank you for the small contribution of the monies. Right? Yeah, there it is. Nice. Okay, now. I'm going to dash over to Spino is what I'm going to do. Because I want to see the new materials. Can I... Oh, right. And also, welcome these two, obviously. Hello, people of Spino. <laughs> I'm your new neighbor. Heck yeah. Get your asses in there. Look at this prosperous-ass town. 
There's no the master here, I'll tell you that much. Also, oh, check on Gite. All right, well, we'll do that in a hat second. I want to check the, the, the thing, all right? The crafts place. Hello, Can you make what I'm looking for? Bub. Thank you again. Anytime. I've got more materials to work with now. Heck yeah. Take a look at my new wares. All right, so what are we what are we rolling with here? Quality steel, quality bolt, quality spring, quality gear. All right, all right, all right. Cobra alloys, panther alloys, quality stuff too. Also, ooh, jungle cobra. Crocodile, mmm, I wonder, I wonder. Omega Raptor? Interesting, interesting. But that is all very important. Hang on, let me make some Cobra Alloy real fast if it's all the same with you. Just so much of Thank that. Thank you! Also, hang on, hang on, hang on. I should probably make some, some Panther Alloy too while I'm here. Just for the sake of it, right? Yeah, that makes sense. Also, maybe make some steel at Thank some point. Thank you! All right, now, let me go and check the kind of stuff that Anna's Dude. asking for when it comes to upgrades. Let's see, vehicles, upgrade the vehicles. Can we do that? Okay, any quality Raptor alloy, which I do not have, but uh, I do, okay, but Cobra alloy. So we got that going for us. Okay, well, the very bare minimum. I don't have quality, I need to go make some quality bolts. All right, tell you what, I'm gonna go take care of that, and then once that's taken care of and I got those upgrades, we'll go over and talk to Gite over there. All right, sounds good. All right, see you in a bit.